Hey everyone, Kurt Singh here. How's everybody doing this season? Uh, I've noticed a lot of flyers uh, with the new buff. Anyways, I've been kind of struggling back and forth, moving around, trying different teams. Yeah, and I've been moving up, obviously. This early in the season, you just move up. Um, but I faced a team, actually, this team, and it beat the line I was running. So I figured I'd give it a go, and I've actually had good success with it so far. I think I won the last two battles uh, in the sets that I was doing before, and then went 5-0 in this one and I'm going to use it again tonight and see how it keeps going. But I wanted to make a video on it and let everybody see it in case it can help anybody. I know there's a lot of flyers out there and uh, the ice moves on the two Pokemon really help and the Zap Cannon is really good for the flyers as well. And then the Counter and Focus Blast hit um, your steels or your normal types, ground types, stuff like that, really good. Um, so yeah, it just seemed quite balanced and like it worked well for me. So like I said, I wanted to let everybody see. Um, so anyways, I'll get into the battle here. Metacham into Politoed. Just let the weather ball through. Get to the Psychic. That does a good chunk of damage. Just let this through as well. And that was a good game. First one through. Next match. Until Terria, this great lead for me. They switch in, it's again. Still I can hit um, Trevenant with super effective with Ice Beam or Player Off. But I switch into my Registeel. And the nice thing about the Registeel too is if you're against something like Trevenant that you're not super effective against, just use the zap cannon and it just keeps lowering their attack and it does a chunk like a big chunk of damage so like i said it worked out well i'm curious to see um how the meta has changed over the last 24 hours or whatever since i last played um i also am playing in open great league not the remix so that'll be a difference in uh, pokemon obviously Bubble down, that's nice. Swampert comes in. Go for the play rough. Get the shield. Now I go for the ice beam. I saw several Swamperts and stuff as well, and the uh, lanterns. Uh, lanterns have been a little bit tricky, but you can hit the psychic and uh, zap cannon work well on those. I like a zoom roll in the lead as well because it's fairly bulky so you can um, do well against most leads and then you can get some energy, threaten shields, it's got good hitting moves on both of its charge moves. The leads where there's a water lead or a flyer lead or a fighting lead you win all of those even the psychic from medicham doesn't do that much to you as you can see there landed a player off did a big chunk of damage shield up get the ice beam off Talonflame, it's good against Talonflame. <clears throat> Switch there, figuring um, Zoomerill can't really do anything to Registeel, and hope this way I can get a little bit of an energy lead. Um, I'd like to leave this matchup with a bit of energy to go after Talonflame. It's hard with Registeel to really farm a lot. If they let this go, right? Like I'm out of energy. They shield it. But they brought back in. I think they thought that they'd get to a move 
where they would just incinerate down. But I get to pretty much one shot them there. Shield the player off. Go for the psychic. Just about half health. And I'll live a uh, player off. And then they just quit. Next match. Town flame lead. Good for me. CMP, I lose. I was happy that I had CMP'd there though because they either need to let it go or they lose the shield. I like Registeel as well uh, as a switch or a closer because it, I mean, outside of an earthquake or close combat maybe or something like that, it pretty much lives anything that, um, like, so you can not shield the first attack kind of thing unless you expect it's going to be an earthquake or something. But so it can soak up a bunch of damage. And if you can get off a zap cannon or two, then uh, it really, really low on, lowers their attack even more for you. Shadow Ball Bone go through. Tried for the Ice Beam there and I <clears throat> got stuck in a bubble. <laughs> got stuck in the bubble again there. I was like, oh man, come on. Bad timing on my part. Let me know in the comments. If you guys are liking the, the content, uh, leave a like, subscribe. It helps out the channel growth and everything. Um, let me know. I let a brave bird go through there. I was like, oh man, shield that, but it's okay. I still had the zoom roll there. Next match, another Atari, Atari lead. I saw a lot of those. Sky attack. They're staying in, so I'm like, okay, well, what are they weak to in the back? So I start thinking, okay, well, maybe I should be shielding or switching out. What's like, what's going on? Why are they staying in here? They know that I do super effective damage. So I think, yeah, I switch to my Registeel to catch this move. Sky attack, and they still stay in. And then they switched. I think they try, They were trying to catch a zap cannon there. But I held off, got focus blast. Shield at the last second, just in case it was earthquake and they rock slide me. Focus blast. Zoom roll in the back. Get to the zap cannon. Big chunk. Bring back in the tall area. Let that go. Now I ice beam them. And that's a good game. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks again for watching and hope everybody does well in their battles this season.